The disappearance and death of Ashanti Billy back in 2017 highlighted the need for a critically missing adult alert. Well, the Ashanti alert became law back in 2018 in hopes of helping others. I'll tell you your side, Julie Malay is investigating if it's working or not, Julie. That's right. The Ashanti alert is meant to bridge a gap, so to speak, between young children and senior citizens, people who are missing but don't quite fit into those two categories. We wanted to know, are they working? This is where the tension exists. At a roundtable Wednesday in Portsmouth, Senator Mark Warner highlighted the $1 million of new funding for implementing the use of Ashanti alerts across the country. I do know this, that if you are a parent and you have someone that's disappeared, I sure as heck would like to be able to call upon the resources that have provided under Amber Alert. Ten on your side recently filed a Freedom of Information Act request for the data on Ashanti alerts. We found that there have been eight Ashanti alerts issued in the Commonwealth since the legislation was signed into law on December 31st, 2018. That's including several missing people from the Hampton Roads area, like Marie Covington, who was found dead shortly after the Ashanti alert for her was issued, but days after her family initially reported her missing. The whole law enforcement definition of when a person goes missing, you know, maybe that needs to be re-examined, but that goes well beyond the Ashanti alert issue. This has always been a depending on, I think even depending on the jurisdiction, it varies how long before an adult person is gone that they qualify as missing. According to the data we received from that Freedom of Information Act, only one person for whom an Ashanti alert was issued was found safe. Two others are still missing. That's including James Allen, a Newport newsman who was last seen by the James River Bridge. Senator Warner says most of that million dollars will go towards technology and training in local law enforcement offices across the country. I'm Julie Malay, 10 on your side.